Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of these Tomy figures, or Ania, I'm not really sure again how you say the name of the figures, but regardless, the last one we looked at was the Sabertooth Tiger with the Neanderthal Man, and I thought that figure was fantastic, so I'm really quite intrigued to see this one. This one is the Pteranodon, and it does appear to come with a Coelocanth, I think, over there, as far as its prey goes. But before we really get into the review, I do want to take a minute again and really thank Keith from Dinosaur Adventures as he is the one that sent these over to us as a gift for us all to take a look at here on the channel. So if you do want to thank him for this gift, the easiest way is to head down to the description, find a link to his YouTube channel, follow it over there, and give him a subscription because he has very cool dinosaur content just like we have here on Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. So once again, thank you Keith for sending this over to us to review. But without further ado, instead of sitting here staring at it in the box, we're going to go ahead and break this Pteranodon out of the box. Actually, before we even do that, you can see back here on the back, there's a whole bunch of other figures. You've got a Stegosaurus, an Ankylosaurus, a picture of the Pteranodon up here, the Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Velociraptor. It appears a very Jurassic Park style Velociraptor up there in the top right. Really, as is the Rex, primarily, actually, they all kind of have a Jurassic Park feel, except maybe that Ankylosaurus and the Pteranodon. But regardless, still, there is quite a few in this line, and let's go ahead, get our Pteranodon out, and take a look at it. So there is our Pteranodon holding its fish, the Coelocanth, right there. And I will say that at first glance, it definitely looks really quite cool, and he fell on his face now. Maybe not quite as nice as we saw, though, with the Sabertooth Tiger. However, I am really quite intrigued to get a closer look and just see how well the detail adds up on this one compared to that one. So let's get a closer look now. We will actually start with the Coelocanth just because, I mean, why not? And he is very, very small. Well, you can see that it does actually sport some pretty nice detail. And considering the size of the figure, it's got some pretty impressive detailing. It does look really nice and has kind of a shine to it in certain areas giving it sort of a wet look somewhat there's just kind of a, it kind of looks like maybe there's like some sparkles that have been added to it and as I turn it here you can see them sparkle every so often which is a pretty cool touch on the part of Tommy and it does have a very nice appearance to it. it's kind of actually hard to even get it in the frame and focus on him because he's so small but it does have a pretty realistic paint scheme and in general has a very nice look to it so the coelocanth is pretty cool i will say that even though it is extremely small but here is the pteranodon and i will say that the overall appearance of it does look very nice actually out of the package i really do like the look of it there's some nice sculpt around the eye beautifully painted eye with a nice gloss the eye has no sloppiness to it at all i actually do quite like the coloration of the pteranodon and i do like that there's like a few various colors of like light browns and kind of a yellow around the eye a little bit and even the lower jaw hair has a different shade of a lighter yellow and then it very nice and gradually transitions to a brown that gets darker the further back you get on the crest and up here on the top part of the beak i really do think that the coloration on it is beautifully applied and looks very natural. I will say, however, that it doesn't appear to have as much as far as the fine detailing goes on this Pteranodon compared to what we did see on the Sabertooth Tiger. It does still have a very nice appearance to it, but it's not really as overly detailed as we saw on the Sabertooth Tiger. It does still look really, really nice though, actually a lot nicer than I expected it to look. I'm not a big fan, however, of that joint there on the lower jaw, which does allow for the articulated jaw which is actually kind of tough to operate with one hand but regardless the inside of the mouth if you can see it there has a nice pinkish color for the tongue nice pink color in the back there nothing on the top one very nice thing to see is that there are no teeth included in the mouth of the pteranodon which is just something that everybody seems to always do regardless of the fact that the pteranodon did not have teeth so it's very nice to see that here by Tomy. They did a good job as far as not including that little feature of the Pteranodon that did not actually exist. And then when we take a look at the rest of the body, it really does have a very nice appearance to it. The overall sculpt work of the body, again, doesn't have a whole lot going on with it as far as 
maybe showing off like features of muscle tone or anything like that really it's very kind of smooth I would say as far as the body sculpt goes but you can kind of see picno fibers all over so that is a very nice touch and you get a nice idea there of the spinal column that runs down along the pteranodon the nicely sculpted feet down here do look pretty good there's no paint on the nails or anything but it does still look nice and again there's some nice browns and like yellows and everything added in throughout to really give it some very nice color difference and I do love the way the paint has been applied I think it overall looks fantastic when it comes to the paint application as we move out along the wing you can again pick up on the picno fibers up there on the arms and some very nice creases and cracks and all that kind of stuff all throughout the wings as far as the skin flaps go nicely sculpted hands same goes for this side too really beautiful detailing all throughout the actual skin flap of the wings and again those nicely done picno fibers even up here on this little part of the skin flap up there and if we look at the underneath again it's a very smooth type of an appearance you can pick up on the chest muscles here so it does have some muscle tone but not a whole lot other than that going on however the detailing again of the actual underside of the wing is really beautiful look how incredible the uh, sculpt looks as far as the cracks and crevices all throughout the wings and the skin flaps go of the wings really really nice looking so this pteranodon is similar to the saber tooth tiger when I say that it's actually much better than I expected it to be really beautiful paint application as well something that is potentially very natural so I do like the paint apps and the actual sculpt even though it's not quite as overly sculpted as you would see on a lot of more modern figures it is still really beautifully done so as far as articulation goes on the pteranodon again I did say that it does have the articulated jaw and it also has articulation in the wings which really move quite nicely you can put them up pretty high and make him soar you can put them up actually really high all the way up there or again soar or even put them down and they seem to work really well they are actually swiveled so similar to what you would find on most Jurassic figures although I don't remember if the actual Jurassic World figures uh, pteranodon wings swivel they may or may not I'm not sure but however our Tomy pteranodon definitely has some swivel going on in those wings but that's it as far as articulation there is no other articulation in the figure as far as the size goes on the pteranodon for a wingspan you are looking at about six inches or about 15 and a half centimeters and for a body size you are looking at about two and three quarter inches or about seven centimeters somewhere in that range as far as the sea locanth that thing is just super tiny so you're looking at about about an inch or about two and a half centimeters so very very small for a size comparison there is the papo t-rex and you can see the pteranodon going for a ride on the rex's head but that should help give you a good idea of how small the pteranodon figure here is from Tomy, it is a very small figure as are really honestly all of them they are all pretty small figures in general when it comes to these really nicely articulated figures however they are still really quite nicely sculpted and detailed and really beautifully painted so they are very nice figures and something this small is a good addition to honestly any collection because it helps to fit in your collection without taking up too much room so I'm really quite impressed yet again I mean it's not an overly detailed figure it's not something as far as the like a papo or a safari or a collect day or rebor or anything like that you won't find that kind of detail and sculpt included in this pteranodon however the detail that is included is really nice looking and considering the style of figure that it is i think it's really nicely detailed and including the coelocanth was a very cool touch just to give the pteranodon some prey and overall could make for a very cool scene or a diorama if you tried to create one with this Tomy pteranodon i think again the paint application is also really nicely done they've included a good bit of color variation throughout as far as the yellows and browns and everything giving it a very realistic look as far as skin tone goes and in general the paint application is applied very naturally and beautifully it appears with an airbrush so it all transitions from color to color in a very realistic and natural way so in general I am actually quite a big fan of these Tomy figures way more than I expected to be I did not expect them to be quite as nice as they are but they are really quite appealing the paint application is all really done beautifully as well like the eyes in general are painted very nicely and there's no sloppiness or anything to them 
or in general on the paint anywhere on either the Coelocanth or the Pteranodon that I can see. So this in general is a very cool Pteranodon set from Tomy. So if you would like to buy this, I will try my best to find somewhere online, probably eBay, where I can link you guys to pick one up because unfortunately I'm not too familiar with where you can actually buy these. However, I will do my best to include a link in the description to where you can pick up this Pteranodon for yourself if you would like. And again, one last time, thank you to Keith from Dinosaur Adventures for sending over this big box of figures for us to look at and enjoy here on the channel. Don't forget to head over there and subscribe to his channel to thank him for the gift and for these reviews. But before you do that, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel as well. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.